for the start. Bonk! Hopefully this sounds... Uh, I'm not, uh, not, uh, not for you guys, but like hopefully the sound comes out fine. This is going to be a bit of an interesting one. Uh, welcome to Sly Cooper. Um, I've never actually played this game. My history of this series is n nearly non-existent. I've seen basically a full play for a Sly 2, but my knowledge of the other games is um, very, very limited. I've seen bits and pieces of these games over the years, but I've, I don't know that much. I know some of the characters, and that's about it. Um, so this is going to be interesting. I have uh, Scrappy and Jason with me like normal, um, and this is probably going to be. Hi everybody. Yeah, this is probably going to be a bit more of a casual run because, yeah, I'm just going to kind of play through the game and just see how things go, and uh, yeah, I guess we'll just get on with it. Sly, come in. Sly. Sly! Sly! Do you <laughs> read me? Yeah, I read you, loud and. Very loud. Sorry, I'm a little nervous. <laughs> Trying to break into police headquarters does that. Get over it, Bentley. You're safe in the van. I'm the thief here. I've got to steal that file from Inspector Carmelita Fox. Well, count on me to be your eyes and ears, buddy. Got their security system totally scoped. To get inside, you're gonna have to go through that air vent. All right, I'm going in. And don't forget you got me at the wheel, Sly. All you gotta do is grab the file and get back to the van. We'll do the rest. Just keep that engine running, Murray. I'll be down in no time. Okay, so by the way, by the way, here, here's a fun fact to you. During those little bits, you can move the analog sticks to mess with their heads. <laughs> oh, nice. So I guess just kind of get used to how this game yeah, plays. Yeah, go ahead and go, go ahead and get a feel for it. But typically, this is a uh, pretty uh, straightforward uh, platformer. Right. Um, I guess it should be worth noting that I have, like, in my own time, played through like some of the other PS2 platformers over the over the years, like uh, games that I didn't really play growing up, like Ratchet and Clank, Jack and Daxter, and all that. Um, I don't, as of this recording, I don't really have plans to. LP those games, but I don't know. I kind of, I kind of just thought that it would be interesting to do it for this game because it would be something different. And uh, yeah, I don't know. We'll just see how, it, how this goes. All right. Um, quick, uh, quick, basic things. Coins. Get a hundred of them, you get an extra life. You have lives in this game. Oh, okay. Right. Uh, gang and game over. Just restarts the level you're on. And yeah. uh, um, you run and you run off of spire and you run off of um I don't want to say spiral hit points <laughs> because you're currently at one hit KO. Oh, I see. Um, the game you um well actually when I say um actually I was wrong about the coins for for a little bit. Um, uh, what happens is um when you you'll find these along the way as well. You'll find uh, horseshoes as lucky charms. Those give you extra hits. Hey Bentley, I think I'm seeing things. Is oh no, a, be or something? a better Can explanation would be um, crash, uh, crash mask, mask actually. Okay. Yeah, you start with a one hit point wonder, but you can get um one, you can get a lucky turn to take one hit, and after that you can um uh, you'll upgrade to a gold one, which is what you take two hits. But you don't. There's no invincibility. Um, getting a hundred coins also gives you a lucky charm. But if you're already at gold, you get an extra life. I'm on it. Right. Did I get through? <laughs> uh, yeah, I heard uh, you. Uh, all right. I heard you loud and very loud, buddy. I think I'm seeing things. 
Must Actually, that's um, can you see those we're gonna get into. We're obviously gonna bring this up eventually. Has um, since I know Harry hasn't played any of these. Have you played any of these, Scrappy? I watched a friend and my younger brother play this back in the 2000s. Okay. The first game I watched was the what? Just the first game? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright. Any other things before I interrupted you? <laughs> um, watch the Super Gaming Brothers playthrough. Watch Snap Q's fan dub, which I will try to the best of my ability to not quote incessantly. Yeah, I mean, uh, especially since I don't know the story or the dialogue in this game. Well, uh, well also, I... just like every time you quote stuff, I don't know, okay. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Quick fly, <laughs> What's that? Just, just for the sake of, just for your sake, I, I'll try not to spoil what happens. Yeah, no, I, I'd prefer to, uh, like, figure the, the, see the stuff as it happens. Nice job, you're in! Alright, um, for, as for me, um, I have played only the first game and the fourth game. Right. Um, the, the first one, the first game I bought, um, was when I was at my ex-girlfriend's. He, uh, let, um, I played up to the third world, and then I had to go home that day. Um, after that, um, a friend of mine in high school let me borrow Sly, th Sly 4 on P PS3. And I beat it after a couple of, uh, after about a week. Nice. Yeah, there's de definitely g gonna be plans to help with the other Sly games down the, down the road. Uh, Four's gonna be interesting. <laughs> the, main th the, main th the main thing about Four that's kind of a pain in the ass is I don't know if you've heard about this, but there's, it has astronomically bad load times. <laughs> I I'm no stranger to that, so. No, it makes Sonic 06 look tame. Huh. I mean, when you when you get the when you 106% crash four, um, I don't think there's anything that can be as as bad as that. Okay. Last words. Cause like I think the loading screens can get as bad as for, like 45 seconds. If you come down through the fire escape and head through the parking lot, we'll be waiting in the getaway the, um, the issue I f I hear from Sly Four is more so the ending more than anything. Cause it just kind of, it kind of just stops, and the series has like not really continued since then. So it's just kind of well, in a well, as far as I'm, I'm, well, I, well, I don't, I don't, th I don't think Sly Four also did that well, if I recall. I assume it. Yeah, I assume Criminal. not. If it hasn't gotten a sequel this for this long, I can do some research if you want. Yeah. You I mean, there was raccoon. like I rumors of a of a game ah, being Carmelita. in the works I recently, but I don't know if that's Bombay. actually true. Which reminds me, I also remember that there was like a movie teaser right thing that they got that or uh, something that got and that got canned. Hey, you know, yeah, that got canned. Really brings out the color of your eyes. Very fetching. And I think they had at least this Bentley and Mar I think they had at least the main trio's voices or at least the might likes. You out of your crime um, I give think, up our little from what I remember hearing, I think the Sly voice was, bars. was Love to stick around different. and chat, but I just dropped by to pick up mm. this case Well, I can tell you this, I'll bet you anything Carmelita's voice would have been different. <laughs> I mean, you probably heard about the joke about Carmelita's voice back. Oh. <laughs> no? It's Every bad. game Carmelita has a different voice. <laughs> Oh, so it's like the Sparks in Legend of Spyro. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I, I like the- they actually take- make mention of that, like, uh, Sparks, I think in the third game, it's like, Hey Spyro, how you doing? I- and my voice keeps changing or something like that. Who would be in that one? I don't know. Wayne Brady. Oh, right, because it was like, um... It was Billy West in the second one, wasn't it? David Spade in the first, Billy West in the second, Wayne Brady in the third. Okay, thank you. Also, Carmelita is very tall here. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, cutscene, so. She gonna get us. Once again, my gang and I had given Inspector Carmelita Fox the slip. I was surprised to see how well she took it. Finally, the secret police file I'd been searching for all these years. With this, I could avenge my family and regain possession of our most valued treasure. It all began when I was just a kid, bouncing on my father's knee. You see, I come from a long line of master thieves who kept all their secrets of sneaking and stealing in an ancient book. The Thievius Raccoon. 
Anyone who read it learned to be especially sneaky, which is why we specialize in stealing from criminals. After all, there's no honor, no challenge, no fun stealing from ordinary people. You rip off a master criminal, and you know you're a master thief. Well, on the night I was supposed to inherit the book, five visitors came unannounced to our door. My father fought to protect us, but the gang of villains known as the Fiendish Five overpowered him and ransacked our house until they found the Thievius Raccoonus. Our family's manual of thieving greatness fell into their filthy hands. They tore the book into five pieces and split it up, each villain disappearing to the farthest corners of the world to commit dastardly crimes. Broken alone, I was dumped at the town orphanage. There I met two guys who became my lifelong buddies and trusted crew. Bentley, techno genius and strategist supreme, and Murray, part-time driver and full-time burden. <laughs> Together we pledged to track down the fiendish five, avenge my father, and steal back the thievious raccoons. I knew I was about to face the toughest test of my life. On this mission, I would either become a master thief like my ancestors before me, or fail and allow my family name to bite the dust. Well, so, okay, well, that cutscene's over. Um, also found out that the game first released on September 23rd, 2002. Jeez. Uh, uh is that a T-Pose? That's just yeah, a plushie. Oh, oh, okay, oh, I was gonna was say. Nice piece of oh, work. Oh, it was a T-Pose. <laughs> Come see me if That's you not supposed to happen. <laughs> I've got them all here on my computer. Use the left analog stick to move around the hideout and the X button to select things. I've already plotted a route to our first target. Oh, okay, this is just cutscenes. Alright. If 100% the game, you get an extra special cutscene. Interesting. I won't say what it is for the sake of it. <laughs> the road trip gave me the time I needed to study up on Sir Raleigh the Frog. As a young man, this hot-tempered frog grew bored of his life of luxury and privilege. On a whim, Aaron he tried Fox. his hand a bit of piracy yeah. and found it to his liking. Raleigh, who quickly became addicted to crime, was Looks brought like into the, the fiendish fight with his chief machines, where his evil tinkering genius rose to new Are you talking about the guy who guards the Cave of Bad Dreams? <laughs> yes. The last reported sighting of this mad machinist was off the soggy coast of the Even Isle has of like a, funny hat. a small island uncomfortably situated in the middle of a perilous Welsh Triangle. Fly Cooper in Hide of Terror. Terror. Oh no. We're gonna die. So what Yay! you saw there in the blue <laughs> Yeah. Trophy where you 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 get a trophy oh, block for breathing. Don't jump into the truck by the way, you'll go back to the hideout. Right, I think you. So um you may have saw it when it loaded up a few icons on the bottom. That shows your main collectibles and in, in your main achievements in the area. <laughs> oh yeah, there's like like uh, clue balls and stuff. There's only like... Yeah. One of them is basically like clearing. One of them is one of them is a mark for a key, which you'll which you'll find at the end of every stage. One is a time trial, which I don't think you need for a hundred percent. I'll just use my climb. Okay, but remember, you can only climb on certain objects like pipes and ropes. Yeah, sure, and like that ladder there. I think you're right. I kind of have to say. But do not forget, Sly. You have to get close. Then hit the circle button to grab it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Relax, Bentley. I live for this stuff. <laughs> yeah, and that's what worries me. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty good. No, I love the I love the dialogue. Yeah, there's 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 a reason why I'm not talking during that. Yeah, no, they, they speak to themselves. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if I already played this game before, I might, now, this is very you know, interesting. talk more, the but... The message you just found appears to be some sort of clue. I'll decipher it here in the van. Uh, in the meantime, see if... Pretty sure you're supposed to use the rope. <laughs> yeah. But that worked. Have, the easier it'll be to crack the code. Yeah, as Bentley said, uh, yeah, you want to find all the bottles in order to open a safe later in the level. 
Right, yeah, again, I've seen the playthrough of 2, and I think they do that in that game as well, so... They do it slightly differently. Yeah. Do you get, a, like, a glider in this game? No. No. Oh, really? Huh. Okay. Yeah, because, like, unlike a... Because, well, the glider was more to say for exploring the open world. Right, yeah, because, like, this game is uh, quite a bit different in that regard, because, like, it's a linear stage-to-stage -stage progression, isn't it? Yeah. Right. Gonna... Yeah, <laughs> that, is, that is a different take on the standard water world. Yeah. My friend. You can hit him and kill him like instantly, by the way. Oh. It's not like slide two and three where you gotta sneak up on them and steal shit out of their pockets. Oh, is that not a thing? <laughs> No, not in this one. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, this one's more traditional platformer. Okay. Uh, map got platformer, I should say. Right. Yeah, I was expected to have to, like, do a lot of sneaking and stuff. Yeah, no, but we don't have this is the game where you do the least amount of sneaking. <laughs> First game you can see, um... Uh, you can see a... Uh, oh, gosh. I won't say a through line, but you can see just kind of a... Uh, Oh, hold on. See those searchlights? One careless step, and you'll be subjected to acute combustion. You done whining? Let's go. I'm just trying to keep you alive, partner. Fortunately for you, I okay, launched these signal repeaters throughout Raleigh's What mess you around their heads? Get yeah. close to one, and I could checkpoint your progress. Nice. Oh, checkpoints, okay. Mm -hmm. Um, oh yeah, and, uh, you were saying, Scrappy? Uh, yeah, there's like a... I guess I'm gonna call it a through line, but like there's uh, definitely like just. Uh, you can see I just uh. You can see how this game, Ratchet One and Jack One, just kind of have very much some early installment weirdness. <laughs> yeah. Not so uh, much Ratchet compared to the other two, but. I I yeah I feel like Ratchet is the one that like the first game isn't like it's different from the sequels, but it still feels like the same general, like, it, it's like a, the same general, like, game design philosophy, whereas, like, Jack and Daxter, the first game is completely different from, from 2 and 3, and then Sly 2 and 3 have the open world setting, whereas this is, um, you know, stage-based. Oh, this is good. Um, okay, so I was looking at the, at the Sly 4 sales. <laughs> That blimp looks more like a machine. Uh, than a hideout. Both, uh, apparently, the first two games sold over mil sold over a million, right? Uh, uh, Sly, let's see. Uh, explains all the wrecked ships. Sly three got only around eighty six k or eight hundred fifty thousand. Beats me. And Sly and Sly four, if I'm looking at the numbers correctly, is about only eighty uh, eight hundred fifty k worldwide, including on both versions. Not uh, great, but the PlayStation 3 was just, like long of the tooth at that point. Oh, uh, well, like, fair enough. But like, yeah, because like that—that that was the Xbox generation that year, and that I wasn't it. <laughs> that was the what? The Xbox had like the console war at that point, didn't it? The PlayStation 3 had narrowly outsold the 360 by like early 2013, but like for all intents and purposes, the hardcore. Had chosen the Xbox 360. I was gonna say though, by 2013 though, that's when the PS4 right was coming out. It would be out in a few months' time. Yeah. I remember the Wii U was 2012. And uh, and we all and and I think I think it was uh, I, I think PlayStation is currently winning the the last two generations. Is that right? <laughs> Depends on how you count generations. Yeah, well, okay. Well, because, like, what would you say? PS4, uh, Xbox uh, One, and... Would you say Switch? I, I count I count Switch as 9th gen, but Wikipedia apparently says otherwise. I think... I see Switch as 9th gen as well, because it just makes more sense in my head. Because uh, I, so, I always kind of see it... I kind of see it as PS4, Wii U, and Xbox One. Okay, so so yeah, I think PlayStation won that, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. handily, uh, handily. Yeah, yeah. The, 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 the um, 
Yeah, the Wii U was basically a non-entity compared to the others. <laughs> Unfortunately. Um, let's see. Like, I can't, um... Oh, what? Again, depending on where you count Switch, it's either... They're leading 9th gen oh. or second place for 8th gen, so I don't know. Alright, uh, by the way, if you see a little icon of Bentley in the corner, that just means it replays the audio call. Oh, that's what it is, okay. I was wondering what that was. Wait, horseshoe! What the heck was that? You got a horseshoe. Did that do, does it do anything? That's your, that's your, that's that's your, your charm. charm. That's your Aku Aku mask. Oh! Okay. Yeah, um, you can you, you can get one more to make it a gold charm, and then that's it. That's uh, your hit points. Yeah. yeah, you you get you you have uh, three hits overall with the gold charm. Okay. Right, right. So basically, yeah. Aku Aku without the invincibility. Correct. If you yeah. get an, um, if you get, I believe, um, if you pick up another lucky charm at that point, it's a one up. Yeah. Okay. So there's I don't at know. least a reason to grab. And you won't, but, and also you won't get acute combustion, like, straight away if you hit the lights. <laughs> oh! I think you <laughs> Well, that was a good angle, too bad he missed you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but he, he threw it straight forward and it angled up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's four shoes, but no horses in this series. Sad. I think you're right, actually. Don't, don't worry, the clues are open. Just, just follow the path a little forward and you'll find the last clues. Like the rope. Oh. And, and this is your, and these are your keys. The level's not gonna just end, is it? No. Okay. Not, in, in the later, in the late, in the, uh, well, not in this part. In the, uh, in the other levels, it'll, uh, kick you out. Oh, okay. Your point is to grab the keys and then it just- because it's a straightforward thing and there's no loop around or anything. <laughs> so it just boots you out like a Mario 64 or a Sunshine or Galaxy is more accurate, I guess. Well, just 3D Mario before Odyssey. Yeah. And now you got all 20. Hey. That's the final clue to crack the code. Now find out both and I'll give you the instructions to open it. No. What? Stop being weird. Just go the right way, dang it. Bentley, I think I'm drunk. <laughs> I thought I was slash speaking for a moment, I was off off screen. <laughs> what did I do a good job? <laughs> yes. And your reward for opening these is my fan fiction from twelfth grade. <laughs> So yeah, you get power ups each time you get and you find one of these. Oh, okay. They all map to your triangle button. Uh, it's a, it's a, it's a ground attack. Oh. Oh, okay. That's, that's Congratulations. A... That looks like some a... of these are. I'll just tell you this: some of these are better than others. <laughs> this looks like a Kingdom Hearts attack. It's like it's like it's like, it's like vortex and it suck. I mean, I, we're assuming. Oh, mm, good. I mean, we're assuming Sly isn't just you know Sora being transformed to raccoon upon entering the world. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have to do all that again, do I? No, um, every no, you have the key and um, uh, the vault code. Uh, yeah, it's already open. All you gotta do is just move up to that gate. I was thinking more of like the windmill attacks from Dream Drop Distance. Like, all oh, right. Why do the keys look like car keys? They look, they, they look, they the no. top of it, and, and I blame SGB for this, but the top of the keys maybe like, they oh. remind me of the water buffalo ship from the Flintstones. <laughs> oh, time trial. Okay, I see. Um, I wouldn't bother with, I, I, if we don't need to, we don't have to, but if you want to do them later, be my guest. <laughs> I don't know how many levels there like are. The secured location on the um, quite a few. Really 20, I think. File suggests. And that's where I'll find him. 
wonderful idea. So that one's not particularly long game. Gone. Why? Right. Because it's impossible to get near him. To him. access Raleigh's blimp, you would have to sneak through that high voltage power tube. To do that without getting electrocuted, you'd have to destroy that power generator. And to do that, you'd need two more of Raleigh's treasure keys, which are heavily guarded. Oh no. Interesting. So when are you gonna get to the impossible part? Fine! <laughs> but I warned you, I've marked the arrows in each with holographic <laughs> markers. Follow them to your objectives. Thanks. Don't mention <laughs> it. It's your funeral. Levels. <laughs> yeah. So, but the cool thing is, you can do these in any order you want. Oh, okay. You just gotta find them. But, uh, but, you, but um, you will need all the keys in an area in order to finish to fight the boss. This is the boss. Wow, you found a lucky it, charm. It just means no, doing the first two levels. Just getting two keys will just open up more levels, I really. <laughs> but you might as well just do all of them. Oh, also wait around a little bit, you can hear dialogue. <laughs> that's, that's, that's Raleigh talking. <laughs> well, they have some subtitles. In the ground. We have sunk a hundred ships by now. But of course, Fiddy Bows is a fine, fine achievement. Carry on, my boys. Carry on. By the way, I think there's a one up in that window over there. Uh, let me see. Is there, is there like. Nope. Gun. No? Okay. Yeah, sadly, no, because like, the only that's the only one you feel like is Fox Fucking. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, there's something in that window. Oh, right, that, I think that becomes a one-up if you if you already have a full thing. Ah. And now we have a gold charm. Great. Now you're at the max hits. Right. I don't think there's any power-ups that extend how many hits you can take. Okay, so it's always, like, free at most. Yeah, oh, but, um, I should mention that, um, falling into pits will not kill you if you have a lucky charm. Oh, okay. It's a one-up on Crash. Oh, oops. Why did you do that? <laughs> By the way. I, I, for some reason I thought that was war a warp into a level, I don't know why. This isn't Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> yes, the green markers are where you need to go. <laughs> I see. I think there's three levels in the first area. <laughs> I don't exist. Yeah, these guards' peripheral vision is not great. <laughs> <laughs> the peripheral vision is the flashlight. <laughs> yeah. So we're going I don't know how that one up jingle so dumb. <laughs> oh, No edge grab, unfortunately. Oh, yeah, the CVS Raccoonus doesn't teach you that. <laughs> sad. Not until flight two. <laughs> Apparently. Okay, so we got this one, that one up there, and then that one up there. But there's four in this area. Oh, I see. Okay. Um. Uh, I don't know this game, so I'm gonna let. Oh, just, one do of whatever, you. just do whatever. Just do whatever you want. Pick the green one. <laughs> Just so you know, it's, there's no Crash Bandicoot thing where you, you have to do things in specific order in order to get everything in one pass. Why? Right. right. Um, also, I just well, I just noticed the the uh, do 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 when you like walk. That's funny. Oh yeah. It, oh, tiptoe. It's even funnier. <laughs> do 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 do. <laughs> Better close those furnace doors. Jump and press the square button. That'll slam them shut. That'll slam them shut. 
Let me stay close forever, so. <laughs> oh, okay, it's the time. Time it. I do recommend we, I do recommend the very least we get all the all the vaults. Yeah, I would like that. Oh, you just passed right all the ones. <laughs> oh. Yeah, keep your eye open. Some of them are hidden in, in, in parts of the environment. Yeah, I'm trying to keep an eye out. They're not—they're not crash four bad, though. I'll tell you that. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, I, uh, Jason, the only crash one that existed this time was Raffin Cortex. <laughs> <laughs> okay, they're not crash four. It's about time bad. <laughs> crash four number two. I, I find it yeah. funny that there's two Crash Force that exist in slide, Japan now. Hold down the circle button near the blue step Final door. Fantasy. Uh, okay, you have to you have Oh, you have to keep it. Yeah. Okay. I'm so used to just falling into like water or something, just being like instant death. The funny part, the fun part, part of the fun part for me is I know a good number of the powers from the Phoebe's Raccoonus, and I'm just trying not to say what some of them are. <laughs> Oh. Is there a bottle down there that you missed? Or did you grab them all? Uh, no, you got him. You got him. Yeah, swinging the cane does, like, extend your, like, your grab box of the bottles. Right, yeah. So one of those things where I just kind of do my instinct. Yeah, I... That is also important to know because some things um, are at, are kind of out of reach. Otherwise, in fact, you only in fact that uh, you'll drop if you you only have one shot to grab these. <laughs> oh really? I I would like to have a better camera. Well, yeah, yeah you see where they No! Go forward! Go forward! Go forward! Okay. And now I can just drop um, it out. Or I can just yeah. die. That works too. Gosh, I always thought that that death, specific death animation was always a little freakish. Yeah. The one where he gets roasted alive. Yeah. Oh gosh, we really didn't get a cut of the, the checkpoint. How are they not? I, I like it. I like. I like. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> At least they saved the bottles being broken. Nope! I think the game over, they'll still be saved. Okay. Like, think. Don't quote me on that one. Um, as much as I do remember about this game, there's also a good amount I don't. Most of my experience, and my only experience comes from watching the XGB play through um, years ago, and what I played at, and what I played at my ex-girlfriend. I see. You can really, hmm? you can really just see how like mascot oh. platformers evolved since the PS One. Yeah, right. So much atmosphere you know in this game. They dropped down, so you can still grab them later. Hey, grab them. Hey, at least you get his one up back. Okay, I almost did the same mistake again. I'm not gonna lie, I was kind of laughing like under my breath when that kills you. <laughs> <laughs> Pain is funny. Yeah, that's dumb death. Dumb deaths are funny. So what made you want to do this game next on your web playlist? <laughs> uh, mainly it's just, it's kind of just because I ha uh, had this game, or like this collection for a while, and, uh, I... Uh, you need a good play it? <laughs> I mean, I... I, the... I'll be right back. Uh, Go ahead. Uh, right back, I'll these messages. But no, I, I saw... Well, I saw Slide 2 and I, f I just kind of figured like this might be a fun series to do Blind LPs for. I don't really have much of a reason, I just kind of felt like it. Oh. <laughs> Alright.
And it will be something different, because... Uh, uh, yeah, because like, you, you, you don't do blind, blind let's plays. <laughs> uh, not anymore, usually. I used to do them a lot more often. Oh, so like, most of your early videos are blind? Um, some of them. Like, I... I think, uh... Rayman 2 was blind, actually. Hmm. Oh, the first playthrough of Rayman Legends was blind. I remember that much. Oh. Okay. Uh, Sonic 06 by Technicality. Um, I don't remember what else right now. Uh, don't forget, you can also use the Binaki com if you need to get a barrel look forward. Oh, right. <laughs> okay. Just timing on these, yeah. They won't kill you. Good. Nice. Good bottle over there. Awesome. All right, did we miss any? Yeah. All right. That is a good move, I like that. Yeah, I was gonna say, you're getting your mileage out of the dive at the very least. Yeah, cause it, yeah, cause it, it, uh, closed the gap really quickly. Right. Some of the saves are at the very start of the levels. But, uh, luckily in that case, you, all you have to do is just jump back into the level once you leave. Um, um, something else I should, uh, one thing I should mention that, um, the bait, the, the saves don't always give you pieces of the previous raccoon Oh, sometimes it's like something else. Uh, other times it's the blueprints to the hideout. So that, and what that does, um, when you look for your Binaki comp, it'll tell you where any missing bottles are if you look through it. Okay. You can't open this vault without fighting the rest of the clues. Working on it. Yeah, I got it, Ben. Shut up. <laughs> I don't know why the fly voice is just so funny. Yeah, it's pretty good. Just look up ahead a little bit. You might, you should be able to find them. There's a ring. Oh. How many are we missing? Two. Ah! Okay. I think the power-ups you get are in a, in a, in a locked door. I think when you get something, it's in an order. That feels like, that feels like the end of the level. Go we'll down there and get that guy. Dead bait. Check that save. Oh, cool. Alright, All right, now you just gotta get back to the save. Which is right there. Press the circle to enter the vault code. I can't believe I pieced this one together. Try 227. How about, one, how about up your ass? <laughs> I think it's fun. The best one is Johnny's Bentley voice. Interesting. Old Sal and Cooper's fast getaway raccoon roll. Oh, it's just Stories true. claim she can move faster rolling than anyone else exactly. could on the run. Hold down the triangle button to use this move. Switch between your power-ups using L2 and R2. I see. It switches to the wall. It switches to any new ability you get right away. Okay. So it's 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 more of a maneuver. It's more of a movement thing. It is faster. I'm not sure if I'm really gonna have much use for this at the moment. And you you're all using it for speed purposes. Right. Yeah, that seems like a time trial thing more than anything. 
If you want to try the first time, try just to see what they're like. Uh, maybe. Cause like, I'm not sure if you need the speed up function. Cause one of the, um, spo small spoiler, like once, one, and one of the, one of the power ups is ability to speed the, the speed time. <laughs> yeah, the Coopers don't mess around. <laughs> yeah. Cause the thing is, but the thing is that speeds up the entire level. Oh. Huh. Oh right, I'm stupid. I I uh, forgot the how to do I, that. I was I was like I was like yeah I, I was trying not to say anything. I was like you I have thought, to say it. Right now. <laughs> yeah yeah I, I thought it was like a time challenge for a second. <laughs> <laughs> and then it, then it kicks you out. Oh, okay. During the time trial, your objective is to just get the key. Yeah, I'll, I'll give it a try. Let's let's see what it's like. I'm not gonna do do this for every level, but. Yeah, good. <laughs> I'm not sure why I didn't just stop the clock after that. Yeah. Hi, by the way. I yeah, I, my food. I don't know if that clock lies, by the way. I hope not. My uh, my food came earlier than I expected, so I'm just gonna be muted for a while. Okay. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I would really like a hover or something right now. Yeah, I, I, I'll give this a couple of yeah, attempts. Yeah, that's take a lot. Yeah, I, I'll give this a couple of attempts. I don't want to like keep doing this. Dead. Nope. Okay. Well, yeah, the levels are actually pretty small once you actually uh, get to eat for them. Right, yeah, they don't seem very big. Even the longest <laughs> ones are okay. Like, maybe at the five minutes? No! Nice! I think he wonders it's faster to fall. <laughs> Okay, this is, uh... Yeah, I think you <laughs> And... And we gotta start over. Nah, One more try? Yeah, now nah, screw this. <laughs> okay. I might do that in my own time, but... Eh. But otherwise you don't need it. I think it's just for pure 100%. No, it doesn't work. Okay. The wall? No. Uh, actually, um, you will get a power. Eventually, you can. Uh, eventually, one of the pieces of Phoebe's raccoon is actually does upgrade it into an attacking move. Okay, that's cool. That'll be useful. 